Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 35th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. Our focus right now is on the GUI class and it's my sincere hope that by the end of this video we're going to be able to see a move executed by one of the pieces on our checkerboard. Um, so I want to be able to click on a source tile that's got a piece on it and then uh, subsequently click on a destination tile uh, that corresponds with a legal destination location for that piece and then see that piece move there. Um, so let's pick up where we left off. I realized after watching the last video that I didn't do that great of a job explaining this mouse click snippet of code. So I'm going to go back and recap this and then we'll uh, see if we can finish it off. So what we said was that when you click a mouse on a tile, when you write, so the board is a J panel and each corresponding tile is also a J panel and there's 64 tiles on a board. When you click on one of those tiles, um, it's gonna, we're gonna come in here because we have added a mouse listener, right? Assuming you guys know how that works. Um, we're going to come in here and we're gonna say, is the event a, a right mouse click event? And this, this method is right mouse button. It's built into the JDK, right? I just imported it from Swing Utilities I believe, yes, yeah, Swing Utilities. So if it's a right mouse button event, then that means that's what we're going to use to designate canceling all of our selections out, right? It's sort of like an undo, like I misclicked. I didn't mean to do that, so I'm going to right click and undo my selection. And that's going to effectively say um, that the source tile is emptied, blanked out, the destination tile is blanked out, and the human moved piece is blanked out. Notice that none of this code is immutable, really. It, we're, we're changing a lot of state. Unfortunately, that's the nature of GUI programming. Um, if we have a left mouse click, then what we're going to say is, did you make a source tile selection already? If you haven't, right, if source tile is null, then get the tile and the then get the piece and assign human moved piece to that. If it happens to be empty, because it could be a, you clicked on an empty tile, right? So if there is no piece on that tile, then just set source tile to null again, and you're going to exit out of this code. Okay? That's what that does. Otherwise, um, otherwise, what you want to say is that the destination tile here is going to be to get the tile and move. Now we have a move. Now we need to basically um, get a legal move that corresponds to the source that you've selected and the destination that you've selected. So here we're going to use a method that we wrote already in the move class. We're going to say move factory dot create move. And we've written this a while back. Uh, now it's going to be used up till now. You'll, if you look at your code, you'll see that that the met that this method this make this create move method is unused, um, but we're going to say create move and we're going to give it the chessboard source tile dot get tile coordinate and destination tile dot get destination get tile coordinate. Right, so that's going to um, go into create move. Right, and that's going to look for that in the list of all the legal moves for the board, otherwise return the null move. Now that we've done that, we're going to say if, oh, now we're going to make that move. We're going to say final move transition, transition is equal to chessboard.make move. We need to write that. Uh, I'm sorry, chessboard dot current player dot make move move right, and we're going to say if the transition dot get move status is done, then that means that was the right move to make. Then we're just going to say chessboard is equal to transition dot get chess, uh, get board. I think we need to write that method, get board. So we need to come here to transition. Right. <clears throat> I 
and we need to write a method called when you create a move transition right that's going to uh, public board get transition board we're going to say return this dot transition board so this is the this is the board that we're transitioning to Oh, and I think we declared this final, so it can't be final, really. Uh, I think that's right. So, right. And then after we do that, after we've accepted the move to be made, there's still work to be done here, uh, but what we're going to say is we're going to need to, we'll put a to-do here to add the move that was made the move log to do and we'll say now that you've made the move say source tile is equal to null basically blank everything out again after you've made the move destination tile is equal to null and human move piece is equal to null we might come back and refactor this code and put this like into a method called like clear you know clear tiles or whatever we want to do clear state or something like that um, and then we want the GUI to update so what we're going to use, we're going to use um, invoke later, right? So we're going to say, um, I'll, I'll maybe explain this in a later video, but I'll assume that you already know how um, GUI update events are processed. So I'm going to use a method on swing utilities called swing utilities dot invoke later new runnable and all we're going to say for now is board panel dot draw board, which is going to redraw the board with the given chess board. So this method doesn't exist on board panel. We need to come up to board panel. Um, we basically need to write, uh, this is on the tile panel, but we need to go to the board panel class. Give me a second here, board panel. We don't have a method on here. So let's go up to the board panel. And we'll say public void draw board final board board to draw. This is almost like a repaint method, if you will, for our chess game. So we're going to remove all the components on the board. And we're going to say floor final tile panel, floor tile, uh, tile panel in, and uh, board tiles. Um, board tile dot. Now we're going to have to call draw tile, which doesn't exist. We'll go through this in a second. For each one, draw the tile on the board. And add the bowl, add that tile to the board. Uh, let's see. We need to say board tile, tile, add the tile panel after we've drawn it to the board. And here we'll say validate and repaint. And so, right. So now we just need this method called draw tile. Um, tile panel. So we're going to come down back down here and we're going to have a method on the tile panel and we'll step through this code. Public void draw tile final board board and this is just going to call assign tile color assign tile piece icon And there's going to be other things here too that, that takes care of like tiles to highlight and um, you know like for legal moves if you turn on highlighting or um, the borders or uh, things like that and then we're just going to call validate and repaint. I'm hoping that I got this right here. So let's launch this. I may have I may need to do a follow-up video and debug this, but let's see okay so 
let's pick here and boom look at that I was able to successfully move and I could have put some print statements in here uh, maybe that would have helped but I you know just to sort of show you the sequence of actions uh, but it looks like uh, you know that worked so I should be able to do that oh no okay so it looks like we've made some progress but there may be a couple of bugs um, but you should at least be able to notice up till this point that you on a new board you can um, you should be able to open with E2, E4. So why don't I stop right here and um, you know uh, we'll probably have I don't know maybe three or four more videos on the GUI class maybe I'll make them a little bit longer uh, so that we can make sure that we just get through it uh, and then we can uh, once we do that we can move on to building a, an, an AI in our game and then finalizing some of the stuff that we left out of the original game state, like en passant. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this video series. Uh, please do make sure to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and I'll continue to create uh, future content. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.